Hey everybody, it's Susie from visions2images.com. Um, I just wanted to stop in. I told you guys we were going to talk about social media and hash hashtags today. Um, hashtags are a big topic and many times people can abuse them or not use them at all. And there can be many reasons as to why it's beneficial and you just have to realize who your audience is like we talked about in a couple of uh, videos before this if you didn't watch them check them out um, they'll definitely give you some pointers on how to kind of fine-tune some of that stuff so what are hashtags um, they're how people find you sometimes so they group like hashtags group words that are interesting to people that they are gonna search for it's like a it's like a Google kind of keyword SEO kind of search thing if you think of it like that I guess um, most people know hashtags, but do they really know what they do and use and how to kind of get them? So if you do hashtag like CMAs, you're going to find all of the CMA pictures. You're going to find information about the CMAs, you know, all the stuff that you'd want to find about C CMAs. And you just hashtag it. Like, literally, that's what it is. Instead of Googling, you know, the CMAs pictures or whatever um, on Google, you can literally go on an Instagram account or whatever and hashtag CMAs and see them all right there instead of having to go through Google or another platform of any sort. Hashtags are great for large events like that or that are like super, super like to the point and don't have to be as specific. But when you're an entrepreneur or a creative person or whatever and you're competing with other graphic designers or marketing people, you can't use something so generic because you're not going to stand out, so you kind of have to create your own, but you kind of have to blend it in. So this is where your creativity kicks in, and if you don't have a social media manager, this can be hard for you as well because you want to make sure that you have that. So I always kind of write down a bunch of hashtags, and I literally knock out the stupid ones like graphic design, graphic designer, whatever. Those are the so generic ones that you're not going to get far with in searches. So I just knock those out and put them on the paper and just say X, done, done. It's out of my brain, it's out of my system, and I need to I need to go further than that, per se. So there's Branding Manager I could try. We'll see how that one goes. There's Branding 101. There's a Creative Entrepreneur. Now, if you're trying to reach an audience and you're not trying to reach branding people, I guess, you can try something like Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur's small business, e-commerce, and kind of combine them, like un entrepreneurs service-based, um, boutiques, uh, boutique entrepreneurs. You can really fine-tune your search, and you can combine words based on your audience. So if I'm a graphic designer, branding, marketing person, okay, let's use me as an example. You don't want to have graphic design, like I said, as a hashtag. So my audience is women, um, women entrepreneurs mainly. So I would kind of fine tune it and go women, girl boss, women entrepreneurs. And I would literally fine tune those even more. So women boutique owners, women small business owners, small business boutiques, um, literally kind of doing that. And what I want to say is I group like ones. So I have three, 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 <laughs> one, two, three different items for hashtags. So each, each group has 20 here and one, 20 here for another and 20 here for another. And this is specifically talking about Instagram. So don't even think that this is for Facebook or anything else because that's a whole nother world. This is only for Instagram. So each time I post, I use a different group so that they're all not the same and they're not all spammy and I don't show up in the same engines because you want to mix it up. And Instagram sometimes does penalize if you use the same hashtags all the time. So you want to make sure that um, you kind of um, do it differently. Um, so what are the best times to post? Um, Twitter is best between 1 to 3, worst at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Google Plus, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., worst is 6 to 8 p.m. Facebook is best from 1 to 4 p.m., worst 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And why do you think that is? Because people are at work, or they're working, and they don't have time. Um, Instagram is 5 to 6 p.m., best times. 
that is um, key you on point. But however, I do post earlier in the day for my entrepreneur people because it just is, knowing your audience helps with that. Worst is 12 to 8 a.m. That makes sense, right? Um, Pinterest is 8 to 11 a.m. because obviously these are stay-at-home moms. They're people who are retired. They're searching the web at this hour. And the worst is from 5 to 7 p.m. Why do you think that is? Because they're cooking dinner. Because they're cleaning up. They're getting their kids to bed. After they get their kids to bed, they're going right back on the internet. They're going to Pinterest. They're going to Facebook. They're going to wherever. So really think about your audience. Um, timing is everything. Make sure you monitor responses. So this is the freebie, guys, that I have on my website. So make sure you go and check it out and download it. Um, I wanted to kind of talk to you one more thing about hashtags. So... You can use up to 30 hashtags in Instagram. If you include more than that, you're, it's just going to block you and you're going to be penalized. I wouldn't recommend more than 20. I don't, I don't really ever do more than 20 ever, so make sure you don't seem spammy. Um, Twitter, one to two hashtags is ideal, and that's, that's max. Um, with Twitter, you can really kind of fine-tune things on there as well, so you just want to make sure you're getting the right hashtag on Twitter. Um, Pinterest, they are not relevant. Do not use hashtags on Pinterest. They are not relevant at all. Facebook, less is more here. If you post three, you're going to be considered spammy. So average is one to three. So I would do one to two. Minimally, that's what I do. Um, and people ask, can we monitor hashtags? Yes and no. So you can kind of see, but not really. So there's hashtagify.me, and that's one of the most complete hashtag tools you can use to analyze your hashtags. And right tag helps ensure that the tags you are using is well chosen and it's not overused. Um, so I don't know if these are really good ways to monitor, but they're good ways to research and help you develop. And the last one is Tagboard. With Tagboard, you can see how your hashtag is being used across multiple networks. So if you have a specific um, hashtag for your um like visions to images um, you can use, and you use it on all platforms, social media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere on there, you can kind of see how they're doing across the platforms to see if people are clicking through or not. So there's a lot of options when it comes to hashtags and a lot of things to know. Um, the newest thing I do want to say, and this is um, pretty new, is when you do Insta stories and you do a hashtag, you can use one hashtag and it's specifically going to get you a bigger audience that you don't have on your on your profile. So basically you're reaching a wider audience. I would highly recommend doing that and I would look into it more to see kind of what you guys can find out about that because it's worked marvelous for me. And again, a lot of this might seem overwhelming or you might think you know what you're doing and you don't or whatnot. So it's definitely important to make sure that you um, hire a social media manager of some sort or they're able to kind of help you and guide you along those ways.